Welcome back, True Believers. This is Ragtar. And today, I'm going to be playing some more Paper Mario's Thousand Year Door Adventure. But look who it is. Once again, we're wearing the same old clothes, and he is probably not very happy about that. But I'm the real hero here, so it doesn't matter. But, uh, I think... Wait. Does he not have? That's one adventure I'm never going to forget. Nope, it was just too exciting. It was just bonkers. Bro, want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Wait. Sounds... Oh, here we go. This is it. Hate Song Tower. Maybe if I listen to all of these, I'll get an item out of it. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, and this part is just crazy, but here it goes. Hate Song Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the nor or northernmost sea. The winds whistle down the cliff, howling like banshees, singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I hate to go there. Blocking out the bone-chilling howls, I somehow managed to reach the tower's door. I was terrified, but thoughts of Princess Eclair warmed my heart and gave me power. All of my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. The door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out Princess Eclair's name, but I couldn't even breathe because, as I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all! The Chestnut King himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling. Puddles of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped onto his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split the air and crashed dead center onto the chestnut king's skull. Hope powered me up, bro. I was going to toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king, and I was loving it. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I'll risk it all in my next blow. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for the, uh, the moment the tension stung me. The ocean winds raged against the tower windows. With that sound as my call to battle, I advanced with no mercy in my heart, and then... I beat him, I defeated the Chestnut King, and even worse, Beast came next, a nightmare thing, but I beat it too. I rescued Princess Declair, it was all over. And then I came back to Rogueport and had a light lunch, and that's about it. You think there's, uh, more to the story than that? Not at all. That's it. The whole story of the quest for Princess Declair. The end. But my adventures won't end here, bro. They'll never end. Alright. I... <laughs> if you want to hear what I've been up to, okay. So I guess, as far as I know, that's the entire story of Luigi's adventure in this game, or maybe there's more. But uh, I guess that's it! Now we know what happened and how we rescued Princess Eclair. I still think it would be cool if they made, like, a companion game to this one, where it was like, but then we would know that Luigi was lying and the game would just be Luigi sitting at home the whole time. No, of course not. Dude, why do I do this? When I could just do this. I was like, why was I about to go across the long, stupid person's way when there's a short way? Alright, here I go. The Thousand Year Door, and something gives me the feeling right as I pass through this area. Shit will be going down? Oh, apparently not. Oh, but Frankly is here. Frankly's never come here! Things are obviously... Oh, all the crystal stars aren't in the door now. It's all come down to this... Oh, wait, I guess the, they never were in the door. That's just the design on the door. What am I... What am I thinking? All the crystal stars are in this pattern on the floor. But this is it. I am putting in the final crystal star into the door, and we're gonna find out what's happening to the guy who lives in the place. The king, the Grotus himself. Whoa, it's eating all my crystal stars. No! Okay, now it's eating them back. Good. I was worried that they were all gone forever. Whoa, look! The door! Huh? Uh, whoa? No? Uh, uh. Shit is getting realer than it's ever gotten before. On this day in history, either we're closing the thousand year door or we're opening it. We're o I thought I was sealing it shut! I thought that I had sealed the thousand years, but I already know that Princess Peach is has been taken in here, so I have to go in here anyway, so. No surprises here, people. I knew what was going to happen. At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadows has been opened before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend before he takes over the world. Oh, I, I, dude, I should be doing a voice. You must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Let's rock, Gonzales. Dude, you're my best partner ever. Coops, I mean, <laughs> fat, nasty, fan, tasty. I wouldn't have this any other way than with my boy, Fantasty. I probably should have... Uh-oh. They're closing the door behind me. Pride keep my libido in check. They don't want Mario impregnating every woman in town. That's why they tricked him. 
into getting locked into the Palace of Shadows. That is exactly what happened. All right. Chapter 8. Oh, this is the name of the game. This chapter's name is the name of the game. Can you believe this? Uh-oh. The Palace of Shadows looks like a pretty shadowy place. What do we have to say about this? Whoa, this place is nasty, but we don't have a choice. We've got to cruise through and save Princess Peach before this whole cataclysm happens. Come on, Gonzalez. Dude, too bad we already know that in this castle lies a demon. I'm like, all keeping my eyes open for uh, all kinds of any treasures that might pop up or crop up in this place. What, what is the point of this little... What is the point of this little side staircase going this way? I don't see the point for now. Maybe there will be a point later. Oh, well right now the point is for me to toss another stopwatch. You know, realistically, if I like were using more like items in the game, stopwatch is actually like not a half bad item. Like if you think about it, it's actually a pretty, okay, okay, good. Well, I mean, it was already flying, so I should have known that. Dude, I can just, look at this one-shot this guy and I already knew that because I knew that he had nine health all because I put on that badge that lets me see things health because I've already got badges that like make my defense go up I've got badges that make uh, my power go up I've got all kinds of great badges and I was like you know what it's time to just know it's time to just know what enemies health is and then I will not be surprised anymore no more surprises for old Rector. Dude, I have 110 people in the audience. A lot of people came out just to see me fight bats, huh? Dude, Bowser's gonna be so surprised when uh, Luigi shows up instead of Mario. He's gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? Dude, I don't, I'm not happy that these staircases just randomly, like something about it just really bugs me that they go like down off to the side for no reason. I already have a shooting star on me, I think, don't I? I do have a shooting star, holy shit. Fucking, what do I even, what do I even need Golden Leaf for? I already have a ton of items that re replenish, but that replenishes FP, I don't even care. I've already got so many FP replenishing items, and they replenish way more FP than that, that I don't even give a fuck. And holy shit, these Dry Bones think he's so hot throwing his bones at me, but guess what, Dry Bones? I'll throw my hammer at you with a death jump of justice. Oh, these- oh, these guys have defense. Uh, that means I'm- Oh, what? Oh, I didn't mean to attack that one. That was stupid of me. Damn it! Why did I attack that one? I didn't mean to do that! He's just gonna s Well, I guess I can get some star power that I don't need, which I didn't get anyway. Fuck! I didn't mean to attack the other dry bones! I think so- my theory here is that- Oh, shit! I did it again! <laughs> My theory, my running theory is that if you give the Dry Bones too many turns, it probably comes back to life. It's probably gonna come back to life right now just to like piss me off because I keep on fucking up this basic action of defeating a Dry Bones. It's like, come on, Rakdar. Come on, Mario. <gasps> Level up. Dude, man, maybe it's about time. Maybe it's about time, old Rakdar go for HP. <laughs> I've only gone for one HP upgrade in the whole game. No! Oh shit! I actually didn't mean to do that. I was actually joking and I was gonna go for flower points. Like seriously, I was gonna go for flower points just now and then I like accidentally at the last second like tapped my controller to the side <laughs> and went for HP. That's not what I wanted. I swear I wanted to go for flower points because like I, s I said before, the only people that go for HP are total losers, and what the fuck? These bullets are made out of gold, and they don't have a lot of health, as you can see. So, obviously, oh, I fucked it up, but it doesn't matter. For some reason, I was tapping R, and so I guess the reason that my brain wanted to be tapping R was just because- Oh no, I got- I jumped on him! I jumped on him! You lying sack of shit game! I jumped all over that guy! Well, whatever. Four damage. I can take four damage. In fact, 
I should, like, use my star power points just to say that I used them. Maybe I should hit him with my hammer. That's, I feel like, a better way to do it than jumping on him. Dude, but if I'm having to fight golden bullets, I wonder if I can go between them. Oh, I can. That's- Oh, But I didn't do it perfectly the second time! Well, shit knackers. I was, like, so proud of my ability to go between them. I was like, oh, dude, looks like old Raktar has got your games figured out because he can just go in between the bullets, but now I fucked up. All right, time to fight some golden cannons. They ain't got- I'll probably murder them in one turn. Oh, unless I do that. Well, you know what? I can actually probably still murder them, to be 100% honest. If I multi-bounce? Oh, no, these things have a ton of defense. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. Dude, we're doing- we're- we're going YOLO swag strats here. We're doing total YOLO swag. We're just gonna bring out all the guns. I'm gonna use sweet treat- oh. Okay, that doesn't do anything because these things' defenses are far too high. Alright. <laughs> well, now- oh. What is- who is throwing something- oh, it's a hammer. Okay, good. Good thing I dodged it. I was actually- I was like- I was trying to do something I rarely do. I was legitimately trying to scan the audience to see if, um, like, I could get anything good from the thing. But I was like, dude, oh, this has gotta- oh, yeah. Now what, Cannon? You've got zero skills. I'm going to just normal jump you. Oh, except for now, stupid little- this is okay. This is one place where Fat Nasty does not shine. Fat Nasty cannot probably do- yep, I was like, I don't think Fat Nasty can do any damage, so we'll have to switch the order up here. Yep. Oh, don't do that. Oh, well, that's fine too. Get rid of that X-Knot. I was not meaning to do that. Okay, switch it up. Ground pound this guy, because Fat Nasty, even though you're my favorite, you cannot do the required damage to make this work. Only Mario's sweet strats of being a plumber, his plumbing strategy, is the only strategy that will kill this right now. Without wasting a bunch of flower points. I actually did waste a bunch of flower points during that fight because... I used the stupid, um... I used the stupid move! That takes a bunch of flower points. oh! Whoops. So... Oh, okay. I just have to... Be careful. I have to be careful instead of- oh, I have Need to get- I need coops if I want to get that thing. Dude, this stupid- This stupid bat is gonna ruin everything right now. I just want to hit it with my hammer. Bat! There we go. Coops, get the- there we go. All or nothing, hit action commands, attack rises, fail it drops to zero. Oh! Dude, am I confident enough to all or nothing? I kind of want to try this. All right, where is that? All or nothing. Like, I'm kind of curious how this works. That is ridiculous. All right, um, where is it at? Let's go to equip badges. Oh, that's not the, let's go to sort methods. ABC, all or nothing. Okay, so it takes four. Okay, we'll take off. I don't want to take off Defend Plus. I like Defend Plus. It's actually a pretty great thing. I can take off... You know what? I'll take off an HP Plus because I got extra HP. Dude, this is risky strats. All or nothing. Do you understand? This is everything or not one thing. That is as risky as strats get. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Dude, this is... Oh, no! Oh, that is a sack of shit. All right, there we go. Not so hot now, are you? You stupid thing. Oh, and we get a save point. Beautiful. Dude, I'm excited to use the all or nothing badge. I actually used it in a battle in that room. I tested it out. It doesn't increase, so it increases your attack power by Uno. So it's like, I'm not even 100% sure just how useful it is. Like, Increased attack power by one is... can I... Do I have to... Oh, I guess... okay. I understand. There is a method for approaching this. And it is like this. 
Well, at first I was like, I forgot that I can jump while I'm rolled. There we go, see? At first I was like, can you jump if you are rolling? And then I remembered the answer is yes, you absolutely can jump if you are rolling. Holy shit, dude, this room looks like there's gonna be a big encounter here. Like, oh, it's just a, it's just a blue dude. All right, I'm gonna use coops. I haven't used coops in so long. Let's chit chat. What do you got, blue guy? None shall pass by. Let those who disturb her fall into the depths of endless darkness. Oh, okay. Wait, do I have to? I probably have to. Um. Oh. I probably have to get the blue guy to get the key. There we go. Blue guy, you ain't got shit, blue guy. I know your games and tricks. And guess what? I am not impressed. Oh, look at this. Oh no. Dude, okay, I got him. Dude, blue guy. Oh, you're running in the wrong way, blue guy. This is like... There we go. I got him. I found him. I ran into him. I didn't get a hammer hit on him like I was hoping, but whatever. Alright, can't flee this fight. I don't need to. Check out my strats. Okay, if I miss one action command, I fuck myself. Oh, oh, action commands. Yeah, action commands everywhere. Alright, um, strike all ground enemies, piercing their defenses. Oh, that is, the, that is the move that I need right now. Oh, oh, okay, whoa. I'd never used that move before. In my defense, I had never used that move. I did not really know, like, what was gonna happen. Alright, so I just gotta beat this guy. He's only got 9 HP. I don't have a lot of good jumps on, though. Hmm. Do I have a good hammer on? No. Okay, whatever. I don't want to- I don't want to give- Oh, crap! I just- I just fucked up! Oh, man. Hmm. And I can't shell toss. The only thing I can do... Is power shell. Whatever. Power shell it is. Fuck it. Although... Alright, so now they're all... I think re-hitting them, though, makes them stay dead long. Okay. Jump. Normal jump. We got this. There we go. <laughs> Not so challenging, are you? That actually did kind of give me trouble because I was being stupid. And now the Mario himself is not doing so hot. Like, hopefully there's going to be a place that I can re-fill my health in here because I'm kind of getting my butt fucked. I'm kind of getting my butt fucked in the anus right now. Maybe I can, you know what, just to be safe, I can use a shroom. Oh, that's what I want to do. I'll use a super shroom on Mario just to be safe, and then I'll just pick up this ultra shroom. Gives me... Ultra shroom is better than super shroom anyway, right? Yeah, holy shit. Shit, yes. It's okay, let's get right in the center here. Okay. And then just hold... Oh, strategies. That is what I want out of life is... All that I just did is everything. All that I just did is everything that I want out of life. All right, so he's only got five health left. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Just so I'm not wasting stuff and to recharge things. You know, what? let's fucking let's go all the way. Sweet feast. We're not even gonna sweet treat here. We're gonna eat. We're gonna have the entire. Oh fuck. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I just missed everything that I wanted to. Was I wanted the giant flower points. Oh yeah, sweet feast, dude. Even with sweet feast, even when you fuck up, it's hard not to just like recharge everything in a big way. All right, now what I will do, hmm, is I will shell slam these guys because they have high defense. Oh, okay. I gotta do it right. I can get the red. I can get all the way. There we go. Ho oh, ho. Yes, what did you expect, my friend? Alright, he's only got two health left, so... It might be time for a simple, normal jump. Oh, I gotta, you know what? If I don't want to get hit by the bullet, I gotta do that. And then hopefully, I think Koops can take him out with a shell toss. If I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. Koops, you might... I haven't had you on my team in a while. I've been... I admit, I've been leaning towards Fat Nasty. He's also my boy. Is it okay, Coops, if both you and Fat Nasty are my boy? Because I'm okay with that. I don't think that uh, 
as a, the father that I, as the fatherly figure that Mario is, I don't think I have to play favorites. Nobody's forcing me. Oh, get. Oh, I was trying to get in between them. All right, we need to go a little bit this way. And there we are. Oh, yes. Right in between the rows of bullets. Dude, I actually love this. I think that's fantastic that you can just run in between them. Although I feel like I subliminally, I actually knew that you could run in between them. And the reason I feel as though I knew that was because, um... The reason that I feel that I subliminally knew... Subliminally knew that you could go in between them was because, um... I saw it on a speedrunning channel. Was that, like, their main strat... Obviously, since speedrunners are always, like, trying to do the smallest amount of battles possible, I think I saw a speedrunner and they actually, like, purposely... They go in between the bullets just so they never have to fight any of the dudes. Oh. This room has a ton of boxes and only two dry bones. What's better? Dry bones? You or the boxes? Oh, whoa. Alright, so that's a badge. But the other thing is flower point, uh... Oh, that's the attack up D down. Dude, if I were brave and bold... I could totally do the attack up D down, but realistically, okay, is there anything else in this room other than just like a ton of enemies wanting my peen? Nope. Dude, if I was totally brave and bold, I could do the attack up D down with no fear. Like, I'd be like, I don't need defense. As I've said before, no, I've, I've not said that about defense, I've only said it about HP. I was about to say defense is for suckers, but I will, that would be, oh, this is one of those places I bet. You have to... probably... They always put these in Mario games. Why do they do this? I bet you have to, like, guess the... Or you have to get the right route. Otherwise, you don't make any progress. Like... Yeah. Mmm. I hate these things in Mario games. Like, so many Mario games do it, too. Where they do... They, like, almost always do it in, like... Yep. Okay, so that was wrong. So, I guess I'll know if I got it wrong, because it'll drop me out back in this room. Oh, but I figured out something that... Only is... Ah, but now I've figured out something that... I was stupid, and I didn't realize... The correct route is marked with a lit torch. I was too dumb to realize that the first time. Yep, so that's not the correct route. Yeah, it looks like... It looks as though... Yep, the correct door will always be lit with a marked, or marked with a lit torch. And I didn't notice that right off the bat, but now that I notice this, this is kind of like, yep. Goofy, easy peasy, I'm sure I'm taking the right route because I haven't been spit back into the other room yet. Or maybe I'm not going the right route because seriously, I'm not getting anywhere. I wonder how many rooms, I wonder how many rooms of torch lit glory I have to go through in order to get this to work. Probably a lot. This game likes to just, like, randomly make you have to go through a lot of rooms for no reason. There might be, like, another part of the puzzle that I'm missing, too. Like, maybe there's something else that I have to do on top of going through the door with the lit torch. Oh, no. That actually triggered the event. Indeed. To Whoa. This place is fancy. Man, we clear one re freaky room to find another. This area is almost like an underground city, huh? What is this place? Oh my gosh. Dude, this place is like... The city of gold. There's stuff in the background. I feel like I could get there if I... Destroy this. I probably have to defeat the chain chomp, maybe. Go! I don't want to fight you right now. I don't want to fight you, I want to save. Actually, I am going to. Right now. This instant. Save with this chain chomp wants my peen. In the next episode, I will explore this mysterious underground city that is inside the thousand year door. This, this has been Raktar. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.